Hey everybody, I'm Shine Adamson, your host for the Yes Phonics channel, and I'm coming back at you. This is where homeschoolers, teachers, and educators everywhere come for valuable teaching information and insights. And today's topic is how to teach phonograms part two. In part one of this three-part video series, we concentrated on what we typically call the circle letters and why they are taught together and out of alphabetical order. Uh, so please watch that video if you guys haven't already, because it will definitely introduce you on how to teach the phonograms in the right way. And that way you guys can watch this whole video series through. So remember to practice each phonogram five times as prescribed, but never in a rote way. And this won't be enough for mastery, but it will be enough to move forward in the learning process. Now the phonograms will be reviewed many times in many ways and review previously learned phonograms every day. And when I say review each phonogram every day, if you've introduced two to five, some, sometimes two to four phonograms per day or two to six, make sure you review those phonograms that next day that you've practiced with the students the previous day and so on and so forth as you introduce phonograms. Similar phrasing or dialogue can be found on pages 33 and 34 in our Yes Phonics Express manual. And for you guys who don't know what the Yes Phonics Express manual is, that's okay. Because I will put those pages and all the information that you guys need in the description below so you guys can successfully teach these phonograms. Now, in addition to learning the alphabet phonograms, your students are also learning how to write them physically write them via manuscript writing. Now the presentation of writing is precise because a lot is being established during this time. Now students are learning the basics of manuscript writing or printing and they're also learning the basics of the thinking processes throughout the program or throughout any type of phonetic program such as the writing road to reading and throughout the flashcard presentation process. So what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and I'll include this link in the description below, you want to go ahead and download part two of the phonogram, phonogram flashcards. And these will be available for you guys to cut out and print. And uh, your your kids or your students can color these as well. So it's kind of acts as a, as a double whammy there. And you'll begin teaching part two of the phonograms in two ways. And number one, using manuscript writing. And number two, presenting the actual flashcards while dictating the phonogram sounds and students will then repeat the sounds and I also like to present the mnemonic phonic technique with each phonogram as you guys have heard me talk tirelessly about the mnemonic phonic technique you may be bored of hearing it by now but for those of you who haven't tuned into the channel and who are just arriving now we have the mnemonic phonic technique I will also link that in the description below goes over all 72 Orton phonogram sounds and it has some really cool, colorful, and interesting captions that help students remember the sounds of the phonograms. All right, let's continue with the alphabet phonograms. So we've already gone over the circle letters in part one and we're gonna go over the rest of the phonograms in part two. Well, not the rest, but we're gonna go over the non-circle letters and then in part three, we'll go over the rest of the phonograms. So, B, Bumblebee. Hug, eh, e, eh, e, help me, i, i, e, i, i, e. It's a giant radio. G, j, g, j, goat and giraffe. K, tall letter. Tall letter k, king. Oh, oh, lollipop. Mmm, mmm, mammoth. Mmm, mmm, noon. P, p, puppies. Man, I love puppies, Brandon. Er, er. Roadrunner, er. So here, here I want to show you guys this one in particular. So the er, so there's the phonogram er, Roadrunner that I just showed you guys, but it's not to be confused with the phonogram er of her. The er is actually a phonogram and you'd underline both the e and the r to symbolize that it's a full phonogram and it's not the same sound. T, t, 
teeter-totter. Man, used to love playing on those when I was a kid, Brandy. Uh, you, uh. Uh, you, uh. Ducks use output. And just so you guys know, I'm going to be showing you uh, the backs of these during the writing portion. So you as a teacher or the homeschooler or the educator can see exactly what you'll be saying to the student. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Valentine. W. W. Wiggle worm. There you go. Is that better? That was a bit better. All right, a bit better. Cool. X-ray a fox. Y, I, I, E. Y, I, I, E. Your gypsy can fly quickly. Z, z, zebra. We're good on that. So you guys, those are all of the phonograms presented like you would to the classroom. And now we're going to go ahead and jump right on over to the writing portion. I hope you enjoy. And so we're just gonna dive right in and we're gonna start with phonogram B, B, Bumblebee. And as you guys can see here, I've got the card of what the teacher will be seeing when they're presenting the phonograms. This is what you guys see right here. It has the Bumblebee and you can show these to your students if you want as well. That way they get the mental image, um, but you don't have to show them this side of the card if you don't want to. We do have reproducible masters to where they can color and whatnot and they can see these pictures. It might work a little bit better that way. Now tell them to uh, begin at the almost the top line and then they'll go down to the baseline and then they'll retrace to two and as you guys can see here I have this little two there and then you'll want to circle all the way around to three. hug so you want to start at the top at the top line here go all the way down past two you want to retrace back up to the midline and circle on over to one and back down to the baseline all right you guys moving right along to the phonogram i i e i i e it's a giant radio so you want to tell your students to start at the midline and then go all the way down to the baseline, lift the pencil, and dot. And that's the phonogram I, I, E. All right, you guys, we're jumping into Jumping Jack. <laughs> no pun intended. Voice the phonogram sound J, J, Jumping Jack. And you'll want to say it just like that, Jumping Jack. Go ahead and tell them to begin at the midline, and then go down to the baseline, right, so start at the midline, go down below the baseline to the circle four right there and then you'll want to lift the pencil and dot j j jumping jack all right you guys this is a phonogram k tall letter k king k tall letter k king tell your students to begin almost at the top line and then go down to the baseline lift the pencil begin at the midline and then slant in to touch the first line and then slant out to the baseline. K. Tall letter K. King. All right, you guys, this is lollipop. Ooh. Ooh. Lollipop for the phonogram ooh. So what we'll do is have your students write it. So tell them to begin at the top line and then go down to the baseline. And then again, say lol, lol, lollipop, lol, lollipop. We gotta get, we gotta get vociferous with it, Brandon. Mm -hmm. I like that word. Me too. Alrighty, folks. This one is mmm, mmm, mammoth. So what you'll tell your students is then have them begin at the midline right here, and then go down to the baseline. And then retrace to two, and then circle over to one, and then go down to the baseline, retrace, retrace to two again, and then circle over to one, and then go down to the baseline. Mmm, mmm, mammoth. Jumping right in, mmm, mmm, noon. 
So for this particular phonogram, you want to have your students, uh, you want to tell them to begin at the midline and then go down to the baseline. So, and I'll just make my little numbers here. You guys can do this if you want. I will provide, again, I will provide this sheet here, it has all the numbers already. You can have your students either trace or you can put these numbers in yourself as you go. But you want to tell your students, begin at the midline and then go down, go down to the baseline. So you'll start at two, go down to the baseline, retrace back up to two and then circle around to one and then down to the baseline. Mmm. Mmm. Noon. P -p Puppies. You'll want to have your students, um, so tell them to begin at the midline and then go down almost to the lower midline and then retrace to two. So start at the midline, go down past three, and then retrace back up past three over to two and circle around back to three. P -p Puppies. All right, you guys, so this is the phonogram R, R, Road Runner. So for this particular phonogram, we're gonna start at the midline, we're gonna trace all the way down to the baseline, and then we're gonna circle back up around, past two, over to one, and stop. That's R, R, Road Runner. All right, you guys, moving right on into T, T, Tot, or Teacher Totter. So for this particular phonogram, have your students tell them to start all the way almost at the top line and then trace down past the midline to the baseline, lift the pencil and cross right on the midline. And that's t, t, tot or teacher totter. All right, you guys, we had, a, had to switch out a battery. Um, so that's why you already see the U written here, but we'll go right back over it. So this is the phonogram uh, you, uh, uh, you, uh, ducks use output. So with this particular phonogram, you're going to want to tell your students to start at the midline, go down to three, and then circle around to the, uh, around, and then go up to the, up to the midline, and then retrace back down to the baseline, right down to four there. And that is the phonogram, uh, you, uh, uh. You, uh, ducks use output. Alrighty, so this is a phonogram v, v, Valentine. And for your students, you're going to want to tell them that to begin at the midline, slant to the baseline, and then slant up to the midline. So in action, you want to tell them to begin at the midline, slant to the baseline, and then slant back up to the midline. And that is your phonogram v, v. Valentine. All right, you guys, this is um, the phonogram w, w, wiggle worm. But you can say, for the most part, you're writing a double V. So you're going to start at the midline and you're going to go down to the baseline and then you're going you're gonna to curve that just a little bit and you're going to go back up to the midline and then you're going to go back down to the baseline and then retrace back up to the midline. And there is your w, w. Wiggle worm. All right, this is x, x, fox, and the mnemonic is X-ray a fox. So with this particular phonogram, you're gonna to want to tell your students begin at the midline, and then slant to the baseline, and then lift the pencil and begin at the midline again, and then slant back across the first line to the baseline. And there's your x, x, x-ray of fox. Sure. Okay, cool. All right, you guys. So with this particular phonogram, we're jumping right in. This is y, i, i, e. Y, i, i, e. Your gypsy can fly quickly. So with this particular phonogram, when you're writing it, Tell your students that the first sound of, of y is as a consonant, and the other three sounds are as vowels, having the same sounds as the phonogram i, i, e. And if you guys don't want to, if you feel like that's confusing, you can skip it, 
but it is useful and if you just tell them if you repeat this repeat repeat review 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 they don't have to understand it right off the bat but it's nice for them to hear and you can also say when we use rules for marking words the y as a consonant will be treated as the first sound and the other three sounds will be counted as the first second and third sounds of the vowel sounds the Y makes and this will be made clear as it comes up in the process of any good phonetic language arts program and the writing road to reading so essentially what we're saying here um, to just boil it down for young kids essentially what we're saying is this first sound is just the consonant sound and then the, the other three sounds are the actual in order sounds of use frequency so the other sounds are actually actually the the actual sounds the first one's just a consonant sound so um, when you're when you're writing this you'll want to tell your students to start at the midline go down to three and then circle around past four back up to the midline and then go down to the baseline way past the baseline and circle that around just like that and that is y i e your gypsy can fly quickly <laughs>